Alright, good morning guys. Vlog 7. It is Friday. Um, we just had our morning briefing. Weather's fantastic. Uh, we should be pushing out here in about 35 minutes. Uh, I got a session we'll be running 8 to 845, then set, shut down out there while the Formula 1's do a heat, and then we'll go again. Same plan, just try to be consistent, try not to scratch. Times were good yesterday, still sitting at that ninth position. Uh, so really, as long as I fly clean, I can stay there. And if the guys above me fly clean, that's where I'll end up. If they have some penalties or, or uh, mistakes, then maybe I can move up a little bit. So these pilots are all on their game. Uh, everybody flew really well. Not very many scratches yesterday. Um, I think there was just one failure to stop on the turnaround. So the penalties so far have been pretty light. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit our briefing here in the pits. We got the F-18s running right now, we're like 100 feet from me, that's why I'm yelling. Uh, hopefully they, they'll probably be running for a while, but we got our meeting, we're gonna have to yell over them and then push out. Hopefully they're not there when we need to push out because uh, that's gonna be loud. I'll put my helmet on. Anyway, I'll keep you guys uh, getting equipped when I can. And if you're out here, come see me. So the pairings. Steve and Eddie are going to be together. You're both here? Here. Yeah. Tim and Hal are running together. Both here? Yeah. Yep. Bo and Brian Steck are running together. Both here? Yep. yep. Harry and Austin are running together. Both here? Yep. Here. Brian Bowen and Aaron are running together. Both here? here? Yep. Kevin Palmer and Rod are running together. Yep. Kevin Palmer? Yep. All right, we're all uh, strapped in, getting ready for engine start. Friday, vlog number seven, uh, first session. A three count. Three, two, one, pivot. Taxi rod, follow Kevin. Clear the red taxi. Good run. I think Kevin got you by hair. Okay, we're cleared down, we're cleared up. Timers, we ready? You ready? Are you ready? On the arm drop, boys. Three, two, one, see ya! Wow, that's a good race, good race. Clear to taxi, clear to taxi. I think Aaron got you. That is not an off heading, Brian. That's the rut. Good job, good job. All right, guys, so that first run there um, wasn't real clean on the on the uh, far end. Went a little long. Um, coming back, I felt like I nailed the landing right where I wanted to, but they did not repair the course last night. They watered it, but they didn't fix that loose area, and there's a, a like a, I don't know, like a pothole that runs across, like a trench that runs across it. And I was almost stopped right as I went into that, and my left wheel dropped into it, and the left wheel stopped, and it pitched me up. I thought I was going over, spun me to the right. Uh, it was my right wheel that went into it. But it pitched me up, spun me to the right, which would have given me a heading violation, but they recognized it's a course issue, so they didn't give me the violation on it. But it made my tail hang in the air, so I think I lost to Aaron on that one. It's the first race I've lost um, because of the, the divot in the uh, track. So 
No, it is what it is. We all have to run that lane, so we got to figure out how to do it. So um, I'm in the other lane next time. So if I go back to lane two, I'm going to have to pick a different area on the on that lane to land because I, I don't want to get in that situation again. I almost went up on the nose. That's that's not cool. So. Okay, we're cleared down and we're cleared up. Timers, are you ready? Need a hand, Roger, you clear? You ready? Are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one, see ya. Great run, boys. Great run. Brian Bowen, nice flying. You can follow him, Aaron. Clear to taxi. Two more. I guess that was a little better run um, or trade punches. I'm flying against Aaron today in the Highlander Moose Knuckle. And uh, because of that divot stop, he got me on the first one. He hit the divot on that one and got the tail rise, so I got him on the second one. We're very close. Aaron's really stepped up his game this year. Um, yeah, I prefer lane one a lot. So that was a good run. If I could just duplicate that and figure out how I'm going to handle lane two, because that's the next race, I'll be back in lane two again. So i um, got to try an offset or something. We'll figure that out. We'll probably shut down here, let the F1s go. And then uh, I'd like to go actually walk out there and look at that course real quick and see if there's a, a room to the left or the right. But power reduction points and slowing down for... Um, for landing, everything seems pretty good. Um, it's going to try to stay consistent. No scratches yet. Stress-free pilot right there. Call for Kyle. Yeah, that's a perfect picture. Some guys will say it actually Well, yeah, because you got a disc right there. Yeah. So you got a rake and a shovel coming. A rake and a shovel? Yeah, what'd you oh. hit over there? I seen you the first run. Do it like I mean, it's right by that. I, I got my feet. I'll just... All right, F1 races are just about done. So we're back in the plane. We're going to start up. We'll be doing one more real race, and then we got some call outs to fill the time. So I'll be racing Kathy as a call out. She called me out. So that'll be a fun race. So we'll get to that here coming up in just a second. Okay, we're cleared down course and we're cleared up course. Timers are ready. Aaron, are you ready? Flying the moose knuckle. Here we go. Brian Bowen in the beautiful new kit box on the arm drop. Here we go. Three, two, one. See ya. been clearing my throat down here a bit the gap. On guard. Clear 
taxi, Brian Bowen. You got him a little bit. You're eating moose tonight. Go to taxi, follow the knuckle. All right, so they did do a little repair work to the lane too, but just to be cautious, I completely went on the outside of the lane to land. And went a little bit longer on purpose just to carry the speed through that rutted area if I had to, because it was a combination of being slow while hitting that rut. So I just landed a little bit longer just to be safe. It's gonna hurt my time a little bit, but you know, if you were, <laughs> the whole point behind stole drag is to really to simulate, to some respect, there's some things about it that aren't a good simulation, but off airport operations. And if I found somewhere that, where I landed and it wasn't, you know, there was some obstacle or rut or something, I wouldn't land there again. I would find an alternative way to, to land, you know, so I didn't hit that, that obstacle, so. But I did there, so um, I did get Aaron just by a, a smid, so it's two to one in my favor right now. But man, he's he's really pushing me, and I enjoy it. He's really quick on the turnaround. Like I I've, I've got him in the straightaway, I'm landing, and by the time I spin around, I look over, he's spin, he's in the middle of his turnaround also. So he's landing a bit shorter. Um, I am carrying a little more speed than I need to across the, the line so that I think there's a, a, a way to improve a little bit. Um, but I, man, I don't want to be wrong though. You know, if it stops flying and, you're, and you end up shortening, that five sec penalty would be really, um, he would bump ahead of me. So I've got to keep it clean. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, actually today we're done. We're going to do a call out run next. I don't think it counts towards times. I'm going to go up against Kathy. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Every avenue that she chooses. Uh, I'm too scared you might beat me. You know, there's a lot at stake with the. the I'll take out uh, Bruce Graham with the red wagon. Do you know why? Do you know what it's for? He wants uh, tuna fish. Oh, actually, tuna's out. He's broken. Alright, then I'll uh, take Greer for tuna. Oh, I'm just about to go against Brian Loser today. Warren's already got Greer. Rod will take Kevin again. Kathy and Brian, now that's a good match. Look at that. Just about identically paired. The smoke's still malingering around from the last run. Kathy's able to find line through all the smoke and haze down there. It looks like Brian may have took the stop on the turnaround. Good turn. Just about identical. Who's got the lead here? That's pretty darn close. I think Brian's got a slight lead in the number two lane. Who's going to get stopped first? Look at that. I think Brian touched down first. Yeah, it looked like he did. Lock up. First, but it's about who stops first. What do you see, guys? What do you see up there? Oh, man. I just don't know. I think Brian got it by a hair. We have to watch video. That was really close. Clear to taxi. Give me two more. All right, so that was a grudge match. All right, Kathy called me out. Didn't count for the the uh, time. Didn't count towards our average. It was just a fun race. Um, got her by just a hair. Um, one of the goals with this build was to be real competitive with a carbon cub, a stock carbon cub. And uh, Kathy's got a beautiful FX2, I believe it's a two, um, carbon cub. And that was really close. Just, I mean, basically got her by the tail drop. So that was a, a fun race, good race. And uh, that's it for today, this is Friday. Uh, wraps up uh, vlog number seven 
There was a little bit of controversy about that first run where um, I kind of pitched up when I hit the divot that's in the in the course there. Um, it caused me to turn more than 20 degrees on heading, and the rule is if you deviate more than 20 degrees on heading, it's a penalty. To look up what it is, either two or five second penalty. It's pretty, you know, it'd be a significant change to my time. Um, you know, Kevin immediately got on, said no penalty, no penalty. It was a course, um, and I was relieved to hear that. But what happened was later on, um, another racer had a deviation that wasn't caused by the course. And he basically protested saying that if I wasn't gonna be penalized, he shouldn't be penalized. So they weren't gonna penalize either of us. And that kind of created the controversy. Like, are we not applying the rules? That's the rule. Um, I understand it's the rule. So obviously I don't want the penalty, but I still have run clean, so I get to drop my slowest time, which would be that run. But I also had a slower run that I wanted to get rid of, like whatever my slowest run was, it doesn't matter if you didn't get any penalties, you want to drop that slow one because it improves your average. Um, so unfortunately, I think it's going to mess up, you know, having clean runs. I think they're going to go ahead and, and apply the penalties to both of us. And if that's what they decide, I'm fine. I mean, that's the rule I did stop with more than 20 degree heading deviation. Um, honestly, I'm just glad I didn't put the airplane on its nose. So it came, you know, it didn't come super close, but enough to get, get me a little, <laughs> scared me a little bit about pitching up when I hit that pothole. So um, whatever the group decides, you know, I'll accept that decision and uh, we'll go on from there. But uh, they haven't really, Put out the new score sheet saying whether or not we have those penalties so I'm not sure how it's going to play out there was a lot of discussion and kind of controversy about it today and i don't like being the center of that controversy but uh really wasn't anything i could prevent so you know however it plays out i'm fine with that